Uh, my job uh, as a blood stock agent and consultant um, sort of you know takes on a wide ranging sort of variety of things th throughout the different facets of the industry, uh, from managing racehorses, uh, selection of stock at, at all types of sales, uh, breeding plans, mating advice, insurance, transport. So there's a, there's a wide ranging number of uh, things to, to to cover. <laughs> You know, and the hours uh, obviously depend on if you're working for somebody or whether you're working for yourself. Uh, I work for myself, so uh, you, know, you can choose to work uh, as much uh, as you like. Uh, presently, I'm, uh, I'm sort of seven days a week, 365 a year. Uh, my family's uh, been involved through the industry, so my involvement stemmed from that, obviously. Um, we've had a lifelong uh, association through my grandfather and my father, so uh, born and bred into it. You know, to be a bloodstock agent consultant, um, study is not a you know, general requirement or qualifications. Um, you know, sure, it, it can help in different assets, but it's not a prerequisite um, for sure. <laughs> the average salary for a bloodstock agent, uh, it probably depends on like a lot of things, how good or bad you are at it. Um, if you're good at it, uh, the, the opportunity is there to make a good, uh, a good living. Oh, the people, uh, the best part of being a bloodstock agent is the people. You know, you, you meet a, a, a wide variety of people from different facets. It's, uh, it's really interesting. Oh, I love it. I couldn't, uh, couldn't be happier being uh, doing what I'm doing. It's, uh, it's not a job, it's uh, you know, something I really love. Job satisfaction is, uh, you know, it comes and goes for sure. You know, you, you have your, your highs and you, you learn to appreciate the, the good times. Um, but, uh, you know, it has its lows and, and that comes with the territory. And uh, you, you learn to accept that. Um, but it makes the, the high points even, uh, even sweeter.